Um, Duval FPV asks, do you use the KISS stuff? I do not use the KISS stuff. Um, uh, so well, the reason I don't use the KISS stuff at first was that they're freaking expensive ESCs. And don't let's not forget, they used to light on fire kind of a lot. They don't do that anymore, but they used to. And so you would pay $25 for a, an ESC, $100 for a set of ESCs. And then you'd need three or four spares, and there's a chance they'd light on fire and take your whole copter with them. And it was just like, well... I guess if you're the kind of pilot who can afford that, more power to you, but I'm not that guy. Now, KISS ESCs don't light on fire anymore. It's the 24 amp ESC specifically are, are the, the sort of new standard. They're very good. Um, they are still some of the highest performing ESCs, although the BL Heli stuff is catching up, and the BL Heli S is going to close or eliminate that gap, I think. Uh, time will tell. So there's, they're not like it used to be that if you had a lot of money and you needed the most performance, you would go with KISS. Uh, and now you can still, I think there are other viable choices out there for pilots, especially as BL Heli S comes to market. There are other viable choices for people to run that are very, very good ESCs um, at, at lower price points. Um, so now we've also got the KISS flight controller and the KISS OSD, and there's this whole system, ESC, uh, flight controller, and OSD. And I still haven't bought those because I'm just a, a beta flight. That's like a guy. That's what I do, a beta flight guy. Um, I've gotten so into the community of beta flight, and the, I love being able to watch the development of beta flight, to follow along on GitHub and RC groups, and see the decisions being made and the thought processes playing out between smart people like Boris and Digital Entity and other other people whose names I you know aren't coming to me right now. All the smart people doing the development, it's great to see them bounce ideas off of each other, see stuff be proposed and not work, and then be dropped and, and just etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And with uh with KISS, that stuff is all I mean it's closed closed to source and the development is basically and the, this has been KISS philosophy since the beginning. Felix does whatever he wants <laughs> and he makes fantastic stuff but he just sort of goes in a room somewhere and churns out the code and you know then he hands it down from on high and you can have it or you could not have it it's it's your choice and that's just not doesn't appeal to me i mean i'm not i don't i'm not offended by it but it just doesn't inspire me to be like oh yeah yeah more 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 right i love i like the open source development so i hope to like people are a lot of people are asking about the kiss uh, flight controller specifically, like how good is it? Is it any good? Has it better than beta flight? And I have a viewer on my YouTube channel who has very generously offered to send me a KISS flight controller, lightly used. <laughs> and uh, so I hope to get a chance to play with it and put it into a build eventually. I'm not the fastest builder. Um, I've been working on this Mixuko build. Hold on. I've been working on this Mixuko build since like literally the beginning of the month and I've only just maidened it today. Um, so I just, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'd have been, I'm faster. It was a little slow because I had, this was my first X pure X build. So uh, if I was a, just a regular 210, it would have probably been a few days. I'm not the fastest builder to begin with and getting into a new ecosystem, you know, it could be a little while before you see it on the channel. Here's my opinion though. I'll be really surprised if the KISS FC, if there's something revolutionary in the PID controller that is like, oh my God, where, where has this been all my life? Um, like I look at videos from two years ago, a year ago even, of, of me flying, of what the state of the art was for clean flight. Or forget me, I wasn't a great pilot two years ago or a year ago. I uh, look at videos from a couple of years ago of guys like Sharpu, who is a great pilot and was a great pilot. And I'm like, gosh, the copter is flying so bad. I talked about this in my last, uh, my last live stream. And now the copters fly so good that it's not a question of what can we do, but what do we want to do? Betaflight will basically make your copter do whatever you want it to do or whatever Boris wants it to do. It's just a question of what he decides it should do. So if there's a difference in flight between KISS FC and 
say multi or say rewrite on uh, on Betaflight. It's not because that Betaflight is worse or Kiss is better. It's that Kiss has decided to do something different, and Betaflight has decided to do something different. And I guarantee you that they're they're capable of equally good flight. It's just, I think it's more like the old uh, you know Gibson Les Paul versus Fender Stratocaster question, which is better. Well, it just depends on you know how you want to fly and what you want to play. I think they probably are both. They probably both fly very well. Kiss philosophy that this whole one kilohertz, two kilohertz that you can fly. I think Kiss runs at one kilohertz that you don't need to fly fast to go faster than one kilohertz. I don't disagree with that. I felt like when we went to one kilohertz and we went to gyro sync, the copter it was night and day how much better the copter flew. And if you want to find out just how much difference there is, there is nothing preventing you from putting Clean Flight one dot nine on your board and taking it out and taking it for a spin and taking a little trip in the Wayback Machine to see just how good we've got it. Um, when we went to two kilohertz, I think it's a little better, and some of the extremes of the flight envelope like uh, prop wash handling and and the tuning envelope got wider there was a wider range of good values but then you get a four and eight kilohertz and i'm willing to bet you that 99 percent of the time most people couldn't tell the difference between two four and eight kilohertz unless you really were tuning very precisely and knew just what you were looking for so that's that's not wrong um but uh, yeah, that's that's where I am on the Kiss stuff. I think the Kiss stuff is probably good. I think the ESCs are great. Maybe the best ESCs on the market, depending on your priorities. Um, not for long, though. I think. And the Kiss flight controller, I haven't flown it yet, but my hunch is that it's good if it flies the way you want it to. And if it doesn't fly the way you want it to, then you're out of luck. And that's why that's why I like Betaflight because. The goal of Betaflight, I think, is more sort of inclusive of, of, let's find out, you know, not just one thing that's good, but let's make it so people can shape it the way they want to. All right, so that's that's my, thank you for the question, Duval FPV. That's my opinion on the KISS stuff. That being said, maybe I'll fly the KISS flight controller and be like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. I was so wrong. Because like guys like Steel and Final Glide fly it and they're not, you know, they're not, they know what they're talking about. Um... But, you know, maybe they're just uh, Les Paul people and I'm a Stratocaster guy.